Did you know you can automate your Philips Hue Play HDMI sync box with Google Assistant? In my last video, I covered off how to create custom Google Assistant routines. Routines are great for creating a set of instructions for Google Assistant in your connected home. It enables you to trigger a number of actions using only a single command. However, not all third-party devices that can be connected to the Google Assistant ecosystem can be controlled by a routine. Philips Hue is arguably one of the biggest partners for Google, so it's a shame their flagship devices aren't natively supported by default. In this video, I'll explain how you can get the Philips Hue Play HDMI sync box to work with Google Assistant routines. If you're not already familiar with Philips Hue, it's a category of smart lights and devices that can be controlled wirelessly via an app. Their products include light bulbs, light strips, and a number of different lighting fixtures and accessories for indoor and outdoor use. You can find more information on Philips Hue via the link in the description. The Play HDMI sync box was released in 2019 to extend the Hue line of products, this time with a focus on home entertainment. The device is designed to be connected between your entertainment system, video game console or Blu-ray player and your TV. It translates the incoming signals and converts it into information that will control the light colour and intensity of your Hue lights in real time. This creates a deeply immersive experience while watching movies, TV shows, playing video games or watching music videos. What's more, the device splits up the incoming signal corresponding to the quadrants of your TV screen to match the positions of your lights in your room. You can configure the app to correspond with your environment near your TV and those lights will match the colours and brightness of the images on your screen. You can connect up to four devices via the HDMI inputs and control the input intensity, brightness and type of playback via the official Philips Hue SyncBox app. The process to start using your SyncBox can require up to four different actions. You need to turn on your TV, change the HDMI input, turn on your lights if not already on, and activate the sync box. While you could split this into four commands for your Google Assistant, it's much more convenient to use a Google Assistant routine. The Hue sync box isn't natively supported. You are able to connect the Hue lights and devices to Google Assistant, but the sync box itself isn't one of the listed devices you can select when setting up routines. There is a workaround though, which I'm going to walk you through now. After you've already connected your sync box to Google Assistant, in the app, go to Settings and then Voice Assistants and tap on Google Assistant to find a handy, if limited, shortlist of example commands. Unless you've renamed your sync box, the default commands will all work with your Google Assistant. Make a note of the command, Hey Google, start sync box. To start creating your routine, open the Google Home app and tap your profile picture. Then tap Assistant Settings. Scroll down to Routines. Tap New, then tap Add Starter, then tap Add Voice Command. I personally like It's Movie Time. Then tap Add Action. Then tap Communicate and Announce. Tap Say Something. I like to have a little fun and have Google Assistant say, Brilliant, I'll get the lights and turn on the TV. Brilliant, I'll get the lights and turn on the TV. Tap Add Action and Adjust Home Devices and choose Hue lights in the same room as the sync box and the TV, and tap Done. This next step is optional, but you can also have the routine control your Google Assistant enabled TV. Tap Add Action and scroll down to Try Adding Your Own. You can then write out, turn on your Google TV, or use whatever name you decided to call your TV. Now you want to add the action that will turn on the sync box. Just like the TV command, you can tap Add Action and then try adding your own. Now write out the phrase from the sync box app you noted before, replacing the name as necessary if you renamed your sync box. And finally, tap Save, and now your routine is set up. As seen from the steps to set up a sync box, you can also make variations of this routine to control other Google Assistant enabled devices. There are a number of other devices available on the market that can be added to routines by using the Try Adding Your Own Action, such as your sprinkler system, robot vacuum cleaner, and more. For more help on setting up Google routines, check out my last video with this link. As ever, if you made it this far and found the video interesting and informative, it'd be great if you were to like it. And don't forget, subscribe for more videos like this one about the connected home and personal technology.